There's not long to wait now until Avengers Infinity War hits movie theaters around the world, and we couldn't be more excited about it, especially now that it's been moved back a week. The epic Marvel Studios offering will bring together all the heroes of the Marvel Cinematic Universe to battle Thanos, as the Mad Titan and his allies seek to gather the six powerful Infinity Stones. It's fair to assume that, commercially, it's going to be a huge success, but we don't yet know if it'll live up to expectations critically. That being said, what we do know is that it's already got a number of things right, and that's what this video is all about. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It's the best way of keeping up to date with all of CBR's great new videos. There was an idea to bring together a group of remarkable people. So when they needed us, we could fight the battles that they never could. The build-up. Avengers Infinity War is 10 years in the making, and 18 movies have come before it in the Marvel Cinematic Universe franchise. That kind of build-up is completely unprecedented, but it's such a fantastic way to lead up to a climactic offering. Little did we know, in 2008, when the then B-list superhero known as Iron Man got his own movie, that it would be the start of something huge. Since then, the MCU has taken countless giant leaps. Iron Man was a relatively grounded movie, but we've since met super soldiers as guardian gods talking raccoons, giant walking warriors made of rocks, trees, and living planets in the same universe, all leading up to this movie. It's been teased since Nick Fury first appeared in the post credit scene of Iron Man. Countless Easter eggs foreshadowing Infinity War have been included in MCU movies. Relationships have been created between characters that will be pivotal when it comes to facing off against Thanos. Quarrels have split characters who are now poised to make amends with each other to combat the Mad Titan. All things considered, the buildup has been incredible. It's been executed to perfection, and it's led to anticipation for it being at an almost frenzied level. Well played, Marvel Studios. Well played. Let's do a head count here. Your brother, the demigod, a super soldier, a living legend who kind of lives up to the legend, a man with breathtaking anger management issues. The heroes. It goes without saying that the thing most people are looking forward to seeing the most in Avengers Infinity War is the coming together of the MCU's heroes. Iron Man, Captain America, Thor, the Hulk, Black Widow, Hawkeye, Vision, Scarlet Witch, Falcon, War Machine, Ant-Man, Doctor Strange, Black Panther, Spider-Man, Bucky Barnes, Star-Lord, Gamora, Drax, Rocket, Groot, and Mantis are just some of the good guys who will be joining forces to take on the mad titan Thanos and his powerful alien allies. Boy. That escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. The fact that we already know these characters from previous movies makes it all the more exciting that they'll be meeting each other and teaming up to save the universe. The possibility for new bonds between characters is almost endless. The simple fact that so many iconic superheroes will be on screen at the same time is going to be awesome! But return to me again empty-handed, and I will bathe the Starways in your blood. The villain. Up until recently, the Marvel Cinematic Universe was criticized for the poor quality of its villains. Aside from Loki and a couple of others, most of the MCU's bad guys had been terrible. Thankfully, Marvel Studios appear to have gotten their act together. The likes of Ego, Vulture, Hela, and Killmonger have all been fantastic, so there's little doubt that the Mad Titan is going to be awesome too. Josh Brolin will be reprising the role he has already briefly played in the MCU, and he's expected to be the main character. If he's anywhere near as interesting and as formidable as he is in the comics, Thanos will be the star of the show, potentially even overtaking Loki as THE fan favorite. You will not be able to plug in, turn on, and cop out. Wakanda. When Marvel Studios were filming Avengers Infinity War, it's fair to say they would have had absolutely no idea just how popular Black Panther's solo movie would be. Black Panther's success, both critically and commercially, is unprecedented, and the movie is breaking records left, right, and center. With that in mind, having Wakanda as one of Avengers Infinity War's main settings was a brilliant call on Marvel's part. The epic ensemble movie will be able to ride on the coattails of Black Panther's success. Not that it needs to, but the fact that it's returning to the setting of such a hugely popular movie will certainly do it no harm, and it should attract at least some viewers who might not otherwise have bothered to watch it. Ready? Let's go. The marketing. The marketing for Avengers Infinity War has been nothing short of exceptional. The key to it has been something you might not expect. It's the fact that we still haven't really got a clue what's ultimately going to happen in the movie. The theme has been teasing. 
We've seen trailers, still shots, and merchandise in the form of things like toys and clothing. But nothing has really been given away. The trailers, including the short Super Bowl trailer, have revealed next to nothing we can deem as being particularly important, while showing just about enough to keep audiences happy. That is an art form. The merchandise looks awesome. You just know it's gonna sell like hotcakes. Now we just have to hope the movie lines up to our expectations, and we're pretty sure it will. Your old war buddy killed innocent people yesterday. And there are five more super soldiers just like him. Steve, you know what's about to happen. Do you really want to punch your way out of this one? The scale. There's no denying the fact that Captain America's Civil War was a decent enough movie. Anyone familiar with the Civil War comic book arcs would have been expecting a huge conflict spanning the entire planet, but it was essentially just two small teams of six superheroes fighting at an airport in Germany. With Avengers Infinity War, they appear to have learned their lesson. The scale of the event will seemingly mirror that of the comic book arcs it was partially based on. It will probably start in deep space, perhaps where Thor Ragnarok left off, with Thanos' ship Sanctuary 2 attacking the ship that Thor and Hulk are in, before heading to Xandar, Nowhere, Earth, and potentially some other locations across the cosmos. Moreover, once Thanos gets to Earth, the subsequent conflict will span the globe. New York City, Wakanda, and Edinburgh in Scotland are just some of the locations expected to bear witness to fighting. In a nutshell, Marvel Studios looks as though they've gone big with Avengers Infinity War. No way we all get through this. It's gonna be blood on the floor. I got no plans tomorrow night. The stakes. If there's one thing that all comic book movies have been criticized for in the past, it's that nothing is ever truly at stake. Not because the bad guys don't have evil intentions, but because you absolutely know they aren't going to succeed. When General Zod tried to terraform Earth in Man of Steel, we knew Superman would stop that from happening. When Malekith tried to plunge the universe into darkness in Thor The Dark World, we knew he would fail. However, with Thanos, the consequences of his actions could have lasting effects. In fact, he might just succeed. With the reality-altering power of the Infinity Stones, his influence on the universe might last, and the MCU might just be changed forever. This is our first day. Here we are in Pinewood in Atlanta, and it's, it's actually pretty unbelievable. Day one of what promises to be a year of fun-filled lensing. Behind the scenes stuff. As well as the cast of awesome characters you'll be seeing on camera in Avengers Infinity War, everything going on behind it has contributed to what is sure to be an amazing cinematic experience. The directors are, of course, the Russo brothers, Anthony and Joe, who have been responsible for two of the MCU's most successful movies to date in Captain America The Winter Soldier and Captain America Civil War. As with every Marvel Studios offering, Kevin Feige is producing. The screenplay was written by Christopher Marcus and Stephen McFeely, the team who wrote all three Captain America movies, and who also created the Agent Carter TV series. The music is by Alan Silvestri, who has composed the music for the likes of the Back to the Future trilogy, the first two Predator movies, Forrest Gump, the first Captain America movie, and The Avengers. All things considered, it's in very good hands. I was shown. It wasn't a nightmare, it was my legacy. The end of the path I started us on. It's the end for some major characters. Avengers Infinity War could see some major MCU heroes being killed off. For example, Marvel Studios head honcho Kevin Feige has said the movie could be the end for any or all of the big three. Iron Man, Captain America, and the Hulk. While Guardians of the Galaxy director James Gunn has said they have to start allowing characters to die, knowing their favorite heroes are going to come out of every movie unscathed is getting quite boring. Knowing they might die will actually be quite exciting and refreshing. Moreover, the MCU is getting very crammed and overcrowded, and killing some of its major characters off will make space for new characters to come in, such as the X-Men, the Fantastic Four, Deadpool, and the Silver Surfer. Because of what Marvel is, because of what they have done over the last 10 years, these next two Avengers films will be an event like no one has ever seen on film before. The timing. It's fair to say that the timing of Avengers Infinity War couldn't be more perfect. The fact that it's coming directly after Black Panther was a stroke of genius, given that Black Panther is proving to be incredibly popular. But perhaps more importantly, it's coming just a few months after DC's Justice League. Justice League was an opportunity for the DC Extended Universe to catch up with the MCU, but it failed dramatically. Ugh, yeah. Ooh, something is definitely bleeding. And the world is again chomping at the bit for a great superhero team movie. 
Avengers Infinity War is a chance to make the MCU's lead over other franchises completely insurmountable. If, as expected, it's a huge success, there's a chance comic book movie fans will forget other superhero franchises even exist. Superman? Who's that? <laughs> And the fact that we're not even exaggerating when we say that is quite spectacular. And that's the end of our video. Did you enjoy it? Do you think Avengers Infinity War is going to be the biggest movie of all time? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to CBR for more great videos just like this one. Bye for now.